This place here is the Quarter Circle V Bar Ranch in Arizona. It's uh, oh, about 75 miles north of Phoenix in the Isle of Frio River Valley, about 4,000 feet above sea level, off there to the west of the Bradshaw Mountains. East of here is the Verde Rim, and north is the Mingus Range. South lie the New River Mountains. Big country, clean, real. The Quarter Circle V Bar is a working ranch. Good size spread too, 40,000 acres. Lots of room to live, breathe, and learn. Because it's more than just a ranch, it's a school a special sort of school. Well, maybe, maybe I should say a very special sort of school, where boys and girls are taught not just things, but the meanings of things. Where, along with getting an excellent academic education, they learn the truth about values which have stood the test of time and are led along carefully planned roads of knowledge toward a better understanding of the world and its peoples and their own duties and responsibilities to themselves and to society. I know quite a lot about this place. Our oldest boy graduated from here not too long ago. And what he brought out of here, what he learned here, is something really special. So I decided to come back here today to share with everybody the story of what this kind of school is and what it does. Because I believe it's important. Along in my generation, you probably worry a lot, like I do, about the world, how it's changing so fast, how a lot of the things we were taught to believe in don't seem to hold true anymore. Well, perhaps you feel as I do, that our children need something more than just a, an academic education to prepare them for the future. They need to be taught to use the knowledge they get in school with wisdom, understanding, tolerance, and judgment to help them build a better world. In 1929, those two people there, they were parents, and they were concerned the same way. Mr. and Mrs. Charles Orme, Sr. And they had this big ranch, miles from any school, and they had children they wanted educated properly. Not just educated in preparation for college, but educated for living, good living, right living, in a mighty imperfect and changing world. So they fixed up this old bunkhouse as a school and hired a good teacher and laid out a curriculum and a code for living based on the fundamental truths they believed in. That's Charles Orme Jr., their son, and his wife Mimi. Charlie was one of the first pupils, along with the children of ranch hand families and ranchers for miles around. And the fine education he got in this room and around the ranch set him on to graduate from Stanford University with honors. And today, Charlie is headmaster here at Orme and one of the nation's most respected authorities on independent schools. And that's what ARM is. It's an independent secondary school. It's quite unlike some other kinds of schools where we send our children to get an education that only prepares them for college, but too often doesn't prepare them to cope intelligently with a world they never made and may have to remake someday. Now, by definition, 
An independent school must offer something better and more worthwhile to young people if it's to justify its existence. It should educate, yes, but it should also offer a constructive, consistent, and compelling system of values around which personal and social living can be organized. Since its very beginning, ORM has been programmed to give its students that kind of focus on life, and I believe it has succeeded. Because it isn't just a school, it's a closely knit, well-organized community. A community in which everybody has an active role, is totally involved, is charged with definite duties, responsibilities, obligations, without alibis, without excuses. Personal, perpetual involvement for the good of oneself and the whole community. That's the rule, and that's the key. You know what that means to a young boy or girl? Well, it means the warm realization that you're needed, wanted, important to other people. You have identity. It means that you are trusted, expected to do your best at all times, to put duty and responsibility to others before yourself. So that's what you do, because it's right and because it's good. Even the academic part of life at ORM is built around the idea of personal responsibility and involvement. The classes are small, intimate. The teachers are not only tops, among the best in the country, but they know how to really communicate with the boys and girls, how to stimulate, bring out excellence, build a contempt for mediocrity. A teacher here is a friend, an advisor, a coach, a guide, all in one. But it isn't just the high quality of the faculty that makes the academic side of Worm so special. It's the atmosphere of total student involvement that makes learning exciting and challenging. Plus, a unique blending of every subject in the curriculum into a well-rounded schedule which constantly emphasizes the relationship between different areas of study. Now what this does is avoid the so-called compartmentalization of learning and instead it shows the students how everything they learn in one class has a definite relationship to their total learning in all their other classes. And that sense of meaning and relationship then is directed so that it has real significance to life itself, to the business of everyday living in a complex civilization. Form is different too in that the warm, close contact between students and teachers continues around the clock. Because the boys and girls spend a lot of time in the teachers' homes as guests and friends. And learning in this kind of warm, relaxed atmosphere, things like the need for simple honesty, truthfulness, and integrity in their daily lives. ORM students learn a real respect for the dignity and necessity for hard work, a never-ending effort, too. Because a carefully planned chore program is an important part of their daily lives. Everybody works. Everybody is given responsibilities and tasks to be done, done properly. Tasks and chores for the good of the whole community tasks and chores that test a student's capacity for community involvement. Tasks and chores that kids themselves grow to enjoy and take immense pride in doing well. And that's the reason this nuclear scientist is learning how to milk a cow and learning the importance of skill in any endeavor. And that's the reason 
this political economist is learning how to train a horse and learning the value of patience an expert technique in any situation. And believe it or not, the deep sense of responsibility and the high regard for honest work the students get here even leads them to undertake major projects on their own, jobs they don't have to do, but they want to do, because they're learning that the best way to a full life is always to do just a little bit more than you have to even at the expense of some pain and, <laughs> and discomfort.